Hey guys, today I'm making a recipe from this cookbook pictured, Run Fast, Eat Slow. It's an awesome cookbook and this is all I used. I made the black beans from a recipe in that cookbook that I mentioned. I got my son to help me whisk up some eggs and the next thing we did is sauteed or just wilted some spinach in a big cast iron skillet. You want the steam to evaporate so it's not too wet and then you can add in the eggs and just scramble up the eggs. Just added some salt and pepper, garlic salt or garlic powder would be great in there too. Then we went ahead and gave it a try. We just assembled a breakfast burrito. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, slow down. Do you like it? Uh-huh. Okay, good. What do you give it? A fork set? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, to make the frozen ones. So I ended up using gluten-free tortillas is what I used. So I added a little extra tortilla, kind of a tortilla and a half to make it so that the tortillas wouldn't get too wet or soggy with all these ingredients. So the eggs, the beans, then I rolled it up like a burrito and just wrapped it tightly in foil. Some of the burritos I used some diet non-dairy shredded cheese and I labeled them for my son, me, and my husband, and then I froze them. There was also enough leftovers to create some little reheated bowls that I reheated later. These bowls just contain the egg and spinach and the beans and the diet cheese. So now I'm gonna show you how I reheated the burritos. From totally frozen, I just unwrapped them and put them in a little pan that was sprayed with cooking spray so that they wouldn't stick. Then I covered it with foil and I baked them at about 350 degrees covered for about 20 minutes and then uncovered them for about 10 minutes so they'd get crispy around the edges. All right, let's see what my family thought of them. Okay, is it cooked all the way through? Oh, yeah. Yeah, is it warm all the way through? Ooh, yeah. that looks good. Lukewarm. Mm-hmm, it's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yours, is there, is the end cooked? Okay, everyone's had a bite. Little kid, what do you give, what's your verdict? Forks up. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Why do you like it? Um, because it's warm and I like whatever type of tortilla this is in. Okay, cool. Is it crispy on the edges? Yep. Nice. Okay. Let's... I'm going to put mine sideways. Sideways? Okay, why? Well, it's not all the way. i got to reheat it some more. I think it would be good with like salsa and stuff. And it... I haven't had a good chance to get a full internal bite. But it... in the little bite I got, it didn't taste like much. But that might be because I didn't get very much. Okay, it was kind of bland. Yeah. Okay. And so I might need some salsa. Okay. I'm gonna have churched up. Okay, so updated review after microwaving it a little bit to go the extra rest of the way for the middle yeah. and putting some hot sauce on top. Put some sriracha on it. Oh yeah. Okay, let us know so what you're thinking. A little, a little avocado. Avocado bite. Now, is it any different? Still forks middle? No, I'd give it a forks. Three quarters. Okay, what would make it totally forks up for you? Some kind of bacon or sausage. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that made it perfect. Or even chicken. Chicken in a breakfast burrito? Yuck. Uh, chicken breakfast burritos. With eggs? Yuck. Eggs and chicken seem wrong together. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think so? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so forks three quarters. Sounds forks. good. Three okay. Some of the things that I learned after doing this recipe was overall I think it was a great recipe. I do think that it could have used a little extra seasoning in the egg and spinach mixture. And the other thing that I learned was that I actually don't, I didn't really like the texture of the reheated eggs. So the bowls that I made that just had the spinach and eggs and the beans and the non-dairy cheese on top. I let them thaw in the fridge overnight and then I microwaved them the next day. And it, it took a long time for it to microwave all the way through and I don't really like microwaving stuff for that long. And I also didn't really care for the texture of the, of the eggs because these had more eggs in them, these bowls had more eggs than the breakfast burritos. So regarding the final breakfast burrito that was frozen, um, I went ahead and tried it also, uh, separately from my husband and son, whereas with my husband and son, I took the completely frozen breakfast burritos, stuck them in the oven, under foil, and then uncovered them. And then my son's was perfectly cooked through, but my husband's was not. It was a little bit bigger, and it, it needed some extra time in the microwave. Anyway, theirs was really crispy around the edges, and it was really good. Mine, I tried to see what it would be like to take the frozen breakfast burrito, 
thaw it overnight in the fridge, and then stick it in the microwave the next day. So no oven at all, just microwave. And I found that it was a little bit, it was good, um, but it required more microwave time than I really wanted to to get it cooked evenly all the way through. And um, it, I don't know, it was, the tortilla got a little bit soft and uh, mushy. But then again, we were using gluten-free tortillas and not like a, a regular um, gluten-full tortilla. And sometimes those do hold together better than the gluten-free variety. So anyway, my verdict on this recipe was it's a great idea. And I think that overall, I give it a forks three quarters like my husband. Three quarters. I don't have my fork with me. I really still recommend that cookbook, Run Fast, Eat Slow. It's an awesome cookbook, and I, I really, the black bean recipe is fantastic. Again, this make ahead breakfast burrito was a great idea. I would love for someone to try it with regular tortillas if they don't have gluten issues and let us know how the tortillas hold up. Let us know if you find that it works to microwave it the next day, what you think about thawing it the night before, so it's thawing in the fridge overnight versus just putting in the microwave or the oven completely frozen. Just let me know what you think. It's uh, it's fun to connect and share. So. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I have new videos coming at you every couple of weeks and definitely check the video notes for any recipe links or products I use, anything like that. That'll be in the video description below. Until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. Thanks for watching.